So guys, in our the previous tutorial, in our previous JavaScript tutorial, I had taught you guys, of course, how to render cards, write your material cards, of course, in a two column grid, right? So we did that one. Now we're going to continue with this that particular series of tutorials. We are today going to see, of course, how to uh, sort those particular cards in both ascending and descending manner right here. Okay, this is a very common thing especially in web development of course to find uh, to be able to sort data okay based on of course ascending or descending a manner now in the future tutorials i'll also teach you guys of course how to sort uh, based on the date of publishing now today this is a simple one right here so you guys can see we have this data it's not sorted we have the pinwheel as our first galaxy followed by the cartwheel right here then of course the last one we have the triangular so you guys clearly you can see the data is not sorted right here okay so yes we can proceed and then of course sort this data in ascending manner from the canis majors right here to of course our Virgo stellar stream so we are sorting that is an ascending of course our uh, manner right here from c right there of course to v okay from the smallest to the largest then of course the descending we can also go ahead resort it of course into a descending manner from the Virgo stellar stream of course to the Canis Majors right here so that's going to do for us sorting in ascending and of course descending manner right here now take note that even after sorting of course our on click listeners are working perfectly right here for instance if you call click of course the show we are able to show you the name of the galaxy if you call the view then of course we show you the description of the galaxy this works whether we sort our data or not all right so because actually while creating our cards we'll be giving them unique ids right there that of course can help us of course in identifying uh, our cards that's it guys this is what we're going to do so join us we start off so guys the very next thing that we're going to move to of course is our project right here to create the project so this is material sort cards right here you can see i have the assets directory inside my assets go ahead create the css directory which is going to house our css files also we're going to need the js directory which is going to house our javascript files we're also going to have the index.html or it so of course you guys know we're using the materialized theme now the material is a css theme you can see is giving us this nice material design feel about our app all right so of course to use it we're going to include the minified version of materialized css just right here so we we'll go ahead include the materialized.min.css now of course our style.css also these are custom a style right here css of course our main.js is right here then of course let's come start with our index dot html so for the index dot html this is an html document so the doc type html we're going to open our html tag and then close it we'll open the header tag close it open the body then close it then of course first we're going to have our meta attribute all right so meta right here the card set which we're using of course is the utf8 okay this is the encoding for our html document then of course these are meta data right here it means that it will actually get processed by the browser yet it won't of course affect our ui it's just a metadata then of course the title for our site is going to become posha.info we're then going to reference three css files first our material icons from the fonts.googleapis.com also going to reference the materialize.min.css as well as the style.css then of course next we come right here in the body at the base we're going just before closing the body we're going to reference the main.js which is our javascript file the advantage of doing it right here at the bottom of the body is that it allows our page to actually load faster given that we will be loading the javascript 
uh, once we've loaded all the DOM all right then of course we come we have our navigation bar now you guys can see from our site you can see the navigation bar we have the title right here that is the brand or the logo then of course we have the two menu items this blue one right here of course is our navigation bar let's come create it this is how we create it then of course we're going to add the menu items you can see the home and about us the next thing is we're going to define the container now this right here is the container which is going to house of course you can see this header and the subheader right here the two buttons as well as the list okay up to right here this of course is going to be the container section of our site is actually going to be where we're going to add our content so yes the class container we assign it of course the class take note that all these are things that we are having right here as classes they are defined in our materialize.main.css read so that's why they'll get themed appropriately then of course we come right here you can see for example the header we're going to center it right here as well as this subheader right here okay this is of course the header then of course you also change the title no the font color right here using the materialize uh, css once we have that one then we're going to create a div which we're going to center then of course we're going to give it two buttons right here the ascending as well as the descending you guys can see we have ascending and descending right here then of course if we come right here of course for the descending we're going to call sort descending uh, function this function we're going to see it in our javascript is going to help us in sorting our data in a descending manner then of course we're going to have the sort ascending which will help us of course in sorting our data in an ascending manner when the ascending button is clicked below these ones we're going to have below the button will create a row okay this right here is a row the row of course inside it we're going to have the display section id this is basically a div okay it's a section just within our dom structure right here it's actually where we'll of course append our list view this is a list view right here now for the list view we'll be creating it programmatically from our javascript and then of course append it right here inside this particular a uh, display section right here which is actually a div yes we come have right here some break tags just to give us some space right here then of course we're going to have the footer okay the footer of the site you guys can see in the site we are having an orange footer right here with the menu items so this is the footer right here yes this is how we're going to create the footer we come define the footer element i give it also a container then of course add uh, several columns and then of course the footer menu items that will do for us guys that's it that's what we need right here with the html let's move over to our main.js file so as we had said the first thing of course in your js uh, directory go ahead and then create a javascript file main i've called main.js the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define some global uh, declarations right here now a global declaration if you declare of course a variable globally it simply means that that particular variable can is visible of course to all functions and classes within within that particular javascript file right so for us for instance these are uh, two variables that we're going to declare them we can of course uh, reference them from anywhere in this particular javascript file they are global they are visible within the whole script so the first one is the display section id right here this of course is the uh you guys we're just referencing it of course from our dom right here you guys so of course the display section id okay we're just referencing it right there we're going to be uh it's where we're actually going to render our list view then of course the next one is our data source so data source this is the data that we're actually going to bind to our list view it's also the same data that we're going to sort so you can see 
For us, we are using a simple array. This array of data that we are going to bind, of course, to our list view. Now, once we have that one, then of course, once we have those two declarations, let's come and do, of course, our JavaScript in an object-oriented manner. So, for us, one of the thing about, of course, these are classes is that we are doing our JavaScript in an object-oriented manner, so that if you are coming from other languages like C# Sharp and Java and Java. You guys can easily pick it up right so the first thing you guys have to know is that in javascript actually there is no class statement read of course in javascript everything is an object even classes themselves are object variables are objects of course functions are objects as well so this is one of the many ways in which you can define a class read take note right here value i this is like the name of our class then you are signing it an anonymous function okay of course anonymous function right here an anonymous function is a nameless function so we've just said that everything is an object right so we can just of course assign functions just the way you can assign our ordinary variables or objects so the ui we are signing this anonymous function so it is inside this function right here where we're going to write of course our class our contents we start of course right here we're going to create our methods right here so our first method is going to be a create card so this is a method right here that belongs to this particular class it's only visible within this class so this dot create card then of course once more we are signing an anonymous function right here to create our card this particular method is going to need of course uh, that we pass it three parameters the id of the card the name of the galaxy because each card is actually going to render a galaxy object then of course the description of the galaxy as well those three parameters will be passed then the first thing of course is to come right here our card view equal to document that create element we're programmatically creating a div right here that's going to act as our card view once we have it then we need to set it the classes all right these are the css classes that are going to be responsible for styling that card appropriately so first of course card right here of course these classes uh reside inside our materialize.css right there so it's going to be a card then of course it's going to these are the colors we're going to apply it first we're going to give it a blue gray color now say if you wanted to give it a green or red or yellow color you can just come pass it right here as a class okay those are the classes for our card view then you guys can see right here of course for each particular card there are different sections first we're going to have the content view which is going to be responsible for actually displaying the content now that one of course is also just a div a simple div so content view equal to document with create element then of course we pass in the div right here that's going to be of course act as our content view for displaying both the header and the description of that particular galaxy so we come content view dot class name of course we give it the card content and then the white text all right this is the color for the text that we're going to show in the card view next we're going to come right here create an element a span so document to create element span right here then class name we're giving it the card title you guys can see of course our card title right there okay then of course we're going to append that particular span card title of course into our content view so content view dot append child then of course we pass the span as the parameter then of course we need now to come also append of course the description okay so content view dot append child document would create text node so we're going to just create as a text node right here and then pass in the description right as the content and then append that one that text node as a child of our content view take note of course we are pending them in order first we append the span which is actually the title and then the description 
so that the title gets shown just before the description for it then span dot inner text now we can of course set the uh, text of course for our span read that is the title the name of the galaxy then of course we have now created the content view we now need to append that particular content view to our card view so card view dot append child content view so that's it that's our content view so the next section is this you can see it right here the section that's going to display our action buttons so let's come right here of our card actions view equal to document dot create element div of course this is also just another div right there then of course card actions view dot class name card action or it this is all going to uh, render of course our action buttons then we're going to create two actions button that we're going to work with the action button one document dot create element then we pass in the anchor attribute once we have that one then action button one dot append child of course we're going to append the text node to that particular anchor attribute so document dot create text node show right so that's we're going to have that one then of course we're going to set its id so action button one dot set attribute id then show id plus id dot to string so an id which is actually the identifier for each particular card will get passed to us then of course we are going to append it to this show id string okay so that's going to give us a unique id for each particular uh, button and of course for each particular card so when that particular action button is clicked we're going to alert the name we're going to show the name of course in a dialogue so that will do for our action button one of course we go ahead do the same same thing of course for our action button two first create it right here then append of course a text node right there set the id attribute then of course handle the on click event so when clicked this time round we're going to show the description that's our action button too lastly for this particular uh, card view we're going to add those action buttons to our card actions view so card actions view dot append child first we append the action button one then we append the action buttons two then of course uh, lastly we're going to come card view dot append child card actions view okay we're just appending that action view of course to our card view then of course at the end of the day we we'll return of course that particular card view uh, object right so if you create if you call the create card we're going to programmatically create that card as we've seen and then of course return it uh, right here so that's it that will do for us okay that will just create for us a single card so if you want to create multiple cards it's easy we're just going to be calling that create card uh, multiple times inside a loop so first let's come and see how to actually create a list view that was just an individual card now let's come create the list of cards right here so this dot create list view then of course this is our method right here the first thing is to programmatically create our ul element our list element we are sending it to the list view variable then the class name we're going to assign to the list right there then of course as we said we're going to do this one inside a loop so for the i equal to zero is less than galaxies dot length i plus plus we're going to loop through our galaxies then for each particular iteration we're going to create our list view items so list view item equal to document to create element then of course we pass the li uh, list of course uh, attribute then of course that's going to give us the list view item then of course for each list view item we come right here we need to create cards okay we need to create cards for each particular list view item so we're just going to append of course a card view as a child of our list view item so list view item dot append child this dot create card so this dot create card we said it knows how to create the card 
yes it will create it and return it but then we need to pass it an id first now the id in this case we're going to pass it the index right here our i okay which is our counter variable the, that's what we're going to pass as the id then of course it also needs the name right here so galaxies we pass in i right here that's going to give us a single galaxy which is the name of the galaxy then of course the description right here okay we pass it the description so id name as well as the description again we're doing this one of course inside our loop okay then of course we make sure we append that list view item of course to our list view at the end of the day we're going to return of course our list view right here so that will create for us our list view our last thing right here let's come create a method that's actually going to show that particular list view all right this method create list view knows how to create the list view and return it but then it doesn't know how to show it now let's create a method that going to show it so this dot show now to show our list view is very simple we're just going to append it of course to our display section so the first thing we need to make sure that that display section is empty so display section dot inner html we pass in blank right so that's going to empty uh, that particular div then we come and then append our list view of course as a child of our display section so display section dot append child this did create list view this is going to create of course our list view and then append it to our display section so yes that's going to show for us the list view lastly we need to know how to sort our data right so we need to know how to sort the data so the first thing we require this sort data function is going to check one parameter that we are in this case uh, calling ascending right it's a boolean actually that we're going to pass right here so we're going to check if ascending all right that is if true if it is true then of course we're going to sort our data in ascending manner so if true is passed galaxies dot sort the moment we call the sort method is going to automatically sort data of course in our in an ascending manner right so once we've sorted the data we're going to call the show just to show our list view of course with the sorted data otherwise if you don't call it then of course it will sort but it will not be able to show right otherwise if that's not the case if uh, false is passed if false is passed as a parameter then of course we're going to reverse of course our galaxies so galaxies the reverse right here this is going to reverse of course our data of course in a descending manner right so if true is passed we sort in ascending manner if false is passed of course we sort in a descending manner so once more we call the show method to make sure that we show of course our list view then of course we come right here we instantiate our ui class remember everything right there we were wrapping them of course in a ui class so of a ui equal to new ui we instantiate our ui to get a ui object once we have that one then let's create a simple function right here globally so that we can call it from within our html so sort ascending then of course we call ui dot sort data we pass in true as a parameter so again sort descending ui dot sort data we pass in false as parameter so these two functions we're just creating them they are helper functions they're helping us of course expose uh this sort data function of course to our index.html okay we have them globally so they are going to be visible from our index so that's going to do for us lastly we call the show the show is going to be able to show of course our list view of course in our uh, display section does it guys let's run the project and see the result so we run our project this is what we're getting right here you can see we have our data of course in our list from pinwheel as our first galaxy of course to our triangulum as the last galaxy so you guys can see 
the data is not sorted at this stage right we have this data is not sorted so if we come click ascending right here is going to sort data in an ascending manner right from the smallest to the largest are uh, from the canis right here of course to our Virgo stellar stream right there that is in an ascending manner if we come click descending this is going to reverse that particular process okay it's going to reverse them now from in a descending manner from Virgo stellar stream of course to the canis right here all right so that's it as you guys uh, saw right here we're also able to handle of course the uh, button click events if you click the show button we show you of course the a name of the galaxy if you click the description we show you of course the description of the galaxy okay even this is of course if we sort we're still able to show you the right um, galaxy all right so that's it guys that's it for this today's tutorial we're going to continue with more javascript tutorials of course in an object oriented manner so you guys if you have any question drop it down in the comment section visit our website uh, kampusha.info also make sure you guys subscribe to our channel we're doing a lot of web development these days you don't want to miss them out take care i'll catch you in the next class